from Bangladesh to Bakersfield. Welcome and welcome back, fellow fans of Clash of Clans from around the world. It is your host, Galadon. And in today's episode, I had an epiphany. I had a stunning realization about something in the game. And at the end of today's episode, I have something free for every single one of you. That's right. Uh, oh, so, so don't go away. Make sure you use code Galad Galan drink no come on okay well, who's doing this who can't type okay if you're using a creator code i would appreciate it if you do not use code peter 17 dollars okay it doesn't work it, please use code galadon or some other amazing creator you don't have to use mine but remember every time you do it costs you zero and supercell helps out us hardworking creators and yes i have to pay through the nose for all of these packages and gems. Yes, all of the packages that I buy in all of my videos, by the way, I am paying for, okay? There is no special perk in the creator program anywhere that gets you these for free. So those of you that are helping out in the streams, maybe you're clicking the join button on YouTube to become a member of the channel. You guys are helping out a great deal and I really appreciate it. Okay, because hey, I'm, I'm, I'm preparing I'm so upset about it. I'm pre I can't even talk right. I'm stuttering because I'm preparing for Town Hall 16 and I know this isn't enough. That is not nearly enough magic items. I'm going to need more help and I'm going to need more CWL medals, which takes us to the subject of today's video. That is the CWL war scenery right now. I currently have this pretty cool war scenery, which I do like, but you know, it would be nice to have something fancy and exclusive and new and different. And of course, you know what I'm talking about, right? If you slide on over to, yes, the Champion War Base scenery is for sale. And that looks amazing. $6.99, however, does seem like a lot of money just for a scenery that you can only use during wars, right? During war attacks. And you don't get to really see it. You're the people that attack you do. Well, here's the deal. Your alternative is to purchase this War Arena scenery. And however epic it may be, and I do agree that it is the most epic scenery in the game, here's the problem. The problem is it's 2,400 CWL medals. Now that may not seem excessive at first, but let's go ahead and take a moment to break this down. The War scenery is 2,400 medals. 10 Wall Rings can also be purchased Add infinitum, meaning endlessly, for 50 medals apiece. 2,400 medals would alternatively purchase 480 wall rings. 8 wall rings upgrade a level 15 wall to level 16, and 480 wall rings would upgrade 60 walls. Are you with me so far? Okay, so let's take this further. One level 15 wall with the gold pass bonus, I'm giving the benefit of the discount right here, is 6.4 million gold or elixir. 6.4 million gold or elixir would cost you 2,040 gems if you were to buy it with gems. But Galadon, you ask, how much must I pay to purchase 2,040 gems? Well, I have the answer for you. If you are buying them 14,000 at a time, that's the cheapest way you would pay $14.57 for 2,040 gems, thusly 60 walls times $14.57 would cost $874.20. So yes, using my faulty reasoning and correct mathematics, the war scenery is worth approximately $875. So the alternative in my little pea brain is, oh uh, yeah, we buy the war champion, war base, scenery base, war champion, champion, war. Yeah, I'm just gonna buy this one for $6.99. Make sure that code Galadon is active and put it up as our new war base scenery. Now, you may have heard me in previous videos talk about the fact that I really wanted to buy that and I was going to make the sacrifice now that I've done the math, it is absolutely never happening. Okay, let's move on to something for everybody else. Have you seen my cozy clam? <laughs> no, I didn't just say that. No, no, that's 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 actually what I meant. Have I have a cozy I have a cozy I can't even okay. I have this decoration, okay? It's called the cozy clam. 
You may have seen it already. If you have, great. If you haven't, now you can get it. The link is in my Twitter, recent tweets, and it's also on my community page. And actually, if you're seeing this video, hopefully you're subscribed to the channel and you already saw the link for the Cozy Clam. But yeah, it's a cool deco. It has absolutely no, like, meaning as far as I understand yet. But there could be something going on with the Cozy Clam. And uh, it, just, just go get it. I mean, maybe it's in celebration for the Goblin Builder. I don't know, but there's a Cozy Clam. And uh, I'm going to get it on multiple accounts. In fact, you can, of course, get it on multiple accounts if you wish. Just use the link over and over and over again. I'm going to pop on over to Galadon 15 point, huh? That has quite a few unplaced items. Regrettably, I passed on the unplaced items from the Halloween season. I could have had more, but I just decided that maybe it's in my old age. Maybe it's because my videos don't get the views they used to. I just decided it wasn't worth me dropping like 20 bucks just to get a few more unplaced items. So, yeah. This is as strange but true as this base gets for now. It's a maxed out Town Hall 15 with no heroes and that many unplaced items. Okay, if you find a strange but true base, please message me on Twitter, Kick, or in-game. Thank you for stopping by and sticking around all the way to the end of the episode. Gallop fam, get out there, make the best of the rest of your day. We will be I warned you, you'd eventually break your brain. Ga Galidon, 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 are you quite all right?